Hello there. It's me, Scott, again. Today I'm going to teach you the magic of adjusting wires. There's several forces at play here uh, with our wires. Um, you know, this is a this tube here is essentially like a straw, and so if I if I pinch these wires, it's going to be like I'm pinching the straw unless air can get through. Uh, it's also going to create a higher pressure when I'm blow trying to blow through this straw if this is more pinched. Same thing if I pinch this wire. If I pinch this wire, less air is going to be able to get through the reed. There's also the tip. All right. If the tip is more open, um, more air is going through the the reed. In addition to the size of the tip, there's also the angle at which the blades are pushing on each other. They're pushing against each other and they're going to vibrate against each other. Um, and so that will change depending on how we have our wires adjusted. When I make adjustments to my reeds, generally what I do is I will squeeze one wire just until the point that I can see that it has changed because that's how powerful the magic of the wires is. If I, if I flatten, I'm going to flatten the first wire here. If I flatten the first wire, a whole bunch of things happen, right? We can watch the tip. The tip just got smaller, right? Less air um, can fit in the front of the reed, plus the, the blades are not pushing on each other as hard. So they'll, they'll vibrate more easily, uh, all right? And also, if we look at the tube, less air can fit through the tube here. What happens if I flatten the second wire? All right, let's watch the tip of the reed. I'm flattening my second wire, and oh, oh goodness, my tip got larger, okay? So several of the same things happen, uh, the opposite sort of happens. If I flatten the first wire, the tip gets smaller, but if I flatten the second wire, the tip gets larger. I, again, I'll have more pressure, but I also have less air that can get through my reed and I'm gonna have a higher amount of air pressure that's between my blades. Typically, I like for the second wire to be pretty round, pretty close to round. But when my reed is brand new, sometimes I'll have it slightly flattened. My first wire, um, I don't really worry about how flat or round it looks, but I, I worry about how much of an opening I have. I like to have an opening that's I don't know, like that. I guess I could measure it for the first time in my life. It's about a millimeter. Um, but it really varies based on how thin the scrape is and just the quality of the cane. You never want this to be more than round. If I were to squeeze too far this way, it would, it just don't do it. Don't do it. Um, unless you want to break a reed or ruin a reed. Um, the other thing that's important is to always do this when the reeds are wet because um, it's pretty hard to ruin a reed by adjusting wires, but if the reed is dry, you might crack the reed. 